Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today I will review 10 fragrances from Louis Vuitton. You guys have asked me if I wanted to do a review about it, so I got samples right now and I will do it for you. So I have 10 samples of Louis Vuitton and I have looked them up online. Most of them are masculine or unisex. So just so you know what I'm, I'm going to review today. And we got to thank my friend Karim because of him, I got these 10 samples. On his Instagram, his name is Smell of Truth and also on YouTube. So check him out. All right, guys, so grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it. All right, so what I'm gonna do in this review, all of them will be my first impression. So I haven't smelled them. I was just gonna spray them on test strip and smell them, put them down, and then I will come back into the dry down as well. And I will start with the more popular ones, which is I have here now Afternoon Swim. So let's see how Afternoon Swim smells like. Whoa, I've also looked up the price real quick and it was 362 euros. Okay, let's see if it's worth it. Okay, afternoon swim. Fresh, very likable, fresh and likable. Um, it's not like it blows my mind, like wow, <laughs> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> If you would let me smell this blind, I would say it's a cheapie. Mm, no, it starts to smell a little bit more expensive fur now. I think I smell a little bit of ambroxan. It is citrusy, aquatic. It's nice. It's very nice. I think this will also get a lot of compliments, but for the price, 360. Oh shit. Yeah, and this is just the opening right now. So the opening doesn't blow me away. Like, wow, what is this? It's just like, I have smelled these type of fragrances before. It is nice. This will get you compliments, but we have to see in the dry down if this one gets a little bit better. And I also need to wear it one time, which I will do and see if it lasts long, yes or no. But for now, it's nice, it's citrusy. We come back to this in the dry down and I will also look up the notes and everything that you need to know. So next one. Okay, so the next one is imagination. Let's see if it's good, yes or no. A mix of shampoo and toothpaste is what I get with this. Doesn't smell cheap, but it smells just like my bathroom. <laughs> After I've done with a shower and when I brushed my teeth, it smells exactly like this. So it smells clean, which is good. Do keep in mind, I'm testing all of these on a test strip, so it can smell totally different when it's on a skin and definitely when it's on a man's skin. But this doesn't blow me away, but it's nice. It's really nice. Yeah, so clean citrusy shampoo-ish with tooth, toothpaste. I come back to it in a dry down. Next one. Okay, the next one is Limensite. Limensite? Limensite. Whatever. Why do they give such harsh names to, uh, maybe it's French, I don't know. I have no idea what the meaning of this is. Oh, okay, this is better. This smells a little bit more like the price. <laughs> you, it's, it's different. I think when people want to lay down 360 euros, they expect also something different. It's nice. I smell more flowers. It's also fresh. I think I smell rose. Although it is flowery and I get some woods, it is masculine. Yeah. But I think a woman can wear this one as well. This one is um, for me the best right now, but we will see in a dry down. Next one. Okay, next one is on the beach. Oh, okay, smells nice. Let's see. 
let's see. Until now, I think that the Louis Vuitton fragrances are like mediocre. But it's also because I have smelled so many fragrances. So not that many fragrances blow me away. Citrusy, very nice, clean. It does smell unisex. Citrusy, flowery. Yeah. This is really for uh, people who just want to wear Louis Vuitton fragrances. That they can say, oh, I have Louis Vuitton on right now. Wow. Designers are better from what I smell from this. It's nice. It's nice. It smells good. Stay on. We will come back to it in a dry down. Okay, the next one is City of Stars. So let's see. Let's see how this one is. Feminine. Yeah, I don't get hot of cold from <laughs> this fragrance. They leave me like numb. Come back to it in the dry down. Not special. Okay, next one is Sur la Route. Sur la Route. Let's see. Are you gonna blow me away? Oh, oh, so. What a sprayer. No, also not you. <laughs> not an opening. Um, Fresh-ish, green. Maybe a little bit of leather in it. It's like fresh, green, leathery. I'm not sure. I come back to it in the dry down. Now, uh, Louis Vuitton is not going that well right now. <laughs> I hope in a dry down. Okay, Ombre Nomade. I've smelled it before in stores. This one I like. Yep, and I like it a lot, but it smells like a fragrance that I have. So Ombre Nomade smells like this one. Scorpion Intense, which I have hyped a lot, but I have found out later that Scorpion Intense smells a lot like Ombre Nomade. But let's do a side by side comparison and see which one is better and also in a dry down. And what is the difference? Price, this one is cheaper, but also this one is not that cheap. Yeah, much better. This one, yeah, but it's also good. Um, I would say 85% they are the same. They are a little bit different. Um, Ombre Nomad is more sweeter and a little bit more skankier. Scorpion Intense is a very clean for a oud fragrance. It doesn't smell skanky. It's also not that sweet. This one is much skankier, although Ombre Nomad is also not skanky overall. But I will let both dry down and see in a dry down what is the complete difference. Okay, next one, Nouveau Monde. Oh. These sprayers sometimes. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. Oh, nee. This smells, uh, I think it is leather, but it smells like an ashtray with some citrus in it. No, this is ashtray with citrus, but I think it's leather. I'll come back to it in the dry down, but this one is the most stinky one till now. I don't like this one at all. I hope it gets better in the inner dry down. Okay, next one is orange. Maybe orange, but let's see. Is this an orange? Yep, sweet orange. Oh, this is nice, but I like citrusy-ish kind of fragrances. So this is good. This is more my thing, but not as good as the first two. And I was also not blown away from, from the first two. It is clean, it is citrusy, mandarin, orangey-ish, but then sweeter. But overall, it's just clean. Come back to it in a dry down. Okay, next one is Les Sables Roses. Les Sables Roses. Maybe it's that. Hmm. Oh, very nice. Musky, clean rose. Yeah, but it's... There's actually a rose that I don't like. This smells like a very realistic rose. Like you have a bouquet of roses and you put your nose in it and you... Yeah, that's this. So if you really are a real rose lover, this is going to be your thing. Just because I am not that person, 
Like, I like the smell, but I wouldn't wear these type of fragrances. It reminds me a little bit then of a grandma perfume, but if you're into that, then you're going to like this. Okay, were that all? Yeah, okay, let's go to the dry down and see what the notes are. Okay, so we are now going to do all the dry downs and see if they are better, yes or no. Afternoon swim. Hmm. Oh, now I like it. Now I like it. This is good. It is citrusy, it is clean, musky, but more citrusy. It reminds me a little bit of a toned down, nicer version of Creed Aventus-ish kind of fragrances with more citrus. Maybe a little bit like Bulgari Tiger, a less pungent Sospiro Vibrato. Like a more toned down version of all of that, but I like intense, fresh fragrances. But this is more for the people who don't like that. So it's good. Let's see what the notes are. Okay, so the notes are Mandarin Orange, Sicilian Orange, and Bergamot. Th those are the only notes that they are going to give you, but I also smell a molecule in here. I'm 100% sure that Ambroxan is in here. Yeah, but they don't give you that many notes, so I can't tell. Sorry. But it is good. Let's see, what do people... This perfume reminds me of, of what? Ah, Bulgari Tiger. Yeah, exactly what I said. Okay, so people think the same as me, but then I would pick Bulgari Tiger or Sospiro Vibrato over this. Now, I wouldn't say it's an exact clone or anything. No, but it goes into the same kind of a genre as those two fragrances. Is it good? Yes. Will you get compliments with this? 100%. People are going to like this type of a DNA. Smell-wise, I would give it an 8, but this is a high price tag. Now, I hope... If this is long lasting, I would also give it an 8. And if it projects, I would give it an 8. Price is a bit high, but you decide if you want to pay it, yes or no. I wouldn't. But smell wise, this is good. 8. Let's go to the next one. Okay, the next one is Imagination. Dry down of Imagination. Hmm. Also better. Okay. Okay. I hope in the dry down all of them get better. Like what I have now with the first two. Because the opening was just boring like they were likable but boring but now they get a little bit more of a depth so i would already say like don't judge it on the first spray let them settle down for like 15 minutes a uh, half an hour so let's see what the notes are in here i like this a little bit more than afternoon swim i must say that, that something more happens in here okay so in the top you're going to get citron Calabrian bergamot, Sicilian orange, middle notes is Nigerian ginger, Tunisian neroli, cinnamon. I love cinnamon, but I, I don't get cinnamon in there. It's more like soapy, citrusy, fresh-ish. Okay, and in the base you're going to get Chinese black tea, Ambroxan, Olibanum, and Gayak wood. Okay, yeah, it is citrusy, woody, tad bit green, much more is happening in this. And I must say this one smells a little bit more unique than Afternoon Swim. Like we already got fragrances, how Afternoon Swim smells like. We already got tons of it. This is a little bit more unique. I do like soapy, so it smells also a little bit like a clean white bar of soap. So if you like that, you're gonna like this as well. Eight and a half, I'm gonna give this an eight and a half, really because I like citrusy, soapy-ish. Yeah, it's good. Next one. Okay, dry down of Limensite. Limensite. Good. Also much better. Yeah, much more is happening now. What did I say that this one? Was this the toothpaste one? I think so. But the toothpaste is away. Much more is happening now. I would say it's more citrusy, clean, woody. Let's look up the notes. So in the top, you're going to get grapefruit, ginger, and bergamot. Middle notes is water notes, sage, rosemary, and geranium. I do get grapefruit. I do get ginger. I do get the watery notes. The plants and the flowers, not so much, but... You do get a green-ish kind of a vibe, so probably mixed together, that's what you get. And in the base, you're going to get Ambroxan, Amber, and Labdanum. I do get the Ambroxan. This one is more my type of a thing with fresh fragrances because it's a little bit more different. This is more unique, but people also say that this one smells like Bulgari Tiger. Now, I don't get that, no. Not that much. But I think if you mix Citrus and Ambroxan, that people are going to say, Oh my God, Bulgari Tiger. No, it's different enough. I like this. I would give this an 8. It's good. Next one. Dry down off on the beach. Yeah, I'm gonna look up the notes. I have no idea what I'm smelling. In the top, you're gonna get Juzu and Neroli. 
Middle notes, rosemary, cloves, sand, thyme, and pink pepper. Yeah. And in the base notes, you're gonna get cypress. Now, I uh, have nothing to say about this. I give this a four. This is boring, not worth the price. You just smell clean ish but i would give this even a lower rating than like some body washes that you can wash yourself with so nah i don't like this at all four okay dry down of city of stars yeah i like it but it smells feminine it smells flowery fresh citrusy yeah I would rate this lower than some female designer fragrances if i am honest if you would wear Dolce and gabbana light blue i would that one is much better than this. Let's look up the notes. So top, you're gonna get lime, blood mandarin, blood orange, lemon, and bergamot. In the middle notes, you're gonna get tiara flower. Maybe I don't like tiara flower. I don't like tiara flowers, I think, because I don't like many fragrances. Or I don't like fragrances where that flower is in it. So maybe that's why I don't like it. And in the base notes, you're gonna get powdery notes, musk and sandalwood. Okay, this is personal, very personal. No, the whole review is personal, it's just my opinion. Ah, yeah, I don't like the flower, so I give this uh, a two, but it's not super bad. If you like tiara flower, you're probably gonna like this, but I don't like that. Next, dry down of Sur la Route. I like this. This is what I like. This is the shit I do, like bang bang. Yeah, very sharp citrus, that's what I get. Very sharp citrus. Now let's look up the notes. Okay, the top notes, it's citruses, bergamot, lemon, pink pepper. You do get all that, you also get the pink pepper. Middle notes, grass, nutmeg, hedione, cardamom. No, I do get a little bit of greenness, maybe that's the grass. And in the base you're gonna get leather, cedar, Peru balsam, patchouli, and ISO E super. Very good that there's ISO E super in this because that makes everything much more likable. Yeah, no, but this is a freshie that I do like, especially for men because of that green edge. I wouldn't say for females, but for men, yeah, it's a masculine freshie. I like this. Eight and a half. Okay, next one is the dry down of Novo Monde. Oh. Um, no. Let me see what the notes are in here because I, this I don't like at all. What is this? Okay, the notes are oud, leather, cacao, saffron, rose, caramel, vanilla, olibanum, amberwood, patchouli, and blackcurrant. Nah, you guys know me. I can handle oud. I love oud, but this is just stinks. And I think it's because of the oud and leather. Don't mix oud and leather. Most of the times so that's not going so well. And the longer I smell it, I also do get a little bit of the vanilla and the rose. So far away, it is okay. But the oud and the leather together? No, I would give this a five. Maybe this can go good on some people's skin. But what I smell from this now, I wouldn't even want to test it on my skin. No, much better oud fragrances out there so i would give this a five next one okay the next is orage i'm sorry guys if this is a very boring review but if the fragrances are not that good i can't pretend to be happy <laughs> oh this is nice this is really nice this smells like a luxurious citrus fragrance yeah and it's very hard to do to make a citrusy fragrance smell luxurious Great. Okay, let's see what the notes are in here. So the top, you're gonna get bergamot and grapefruit. Middle notes, iris, hedione, and pepper. The base notes, patchouli, java vetiver, oil, uh, iso e super, and white musk. So the main things you get is bergamot and grapefruit, iris and pepper, patchouli, not that much. I do get a hint of a green vibe. Maybe that's the patchouli, but it could also be the vetiver. Mo the main things that I smell is uh, bergamot, grapefruit, iris and pepper and musk. And that's a very good combination. Yeah, eight and a half. I like this a lot. Next one. Okay, dry down of Les Sables Roses. Um, got even more realistic on the rose part that I don't like. But fragrance note are rose, Bulgarian rose, oud, saffron, ambergris, and black pepper. Yeah, I would say it's very feminine, very grandma rose-ish. Not my thing. It's just, it's not my thing. A five. Yeah, a five. Okay, and now the dry down of Ombre Nomade and Scorpion Intense, because they smell alike. This is Ombre Nomade. Mm. Oh, they, they are different. They, they go their own way. So this one stays 
It stays on the skanky side, which is not bad at all. I do like it a lot. It's also a sweeter-ish kind of a oud. This one, Ombre de Maat, is much sweeter than this one. This is not so sweet. Not sweet at all. Scorpion Intense is clean rose oud. Much more likable for beginner noses. And I would say this is more for the noses that are a little bit more developed on the oud. Although I would also say that this is a beginner oud-ish kind of a fragrance that goes into a tiny bit of the skanky direction. Both are very good. But I would say get one or the other. If you like this, you're gonna like this one as well. And the same, same as for this. But I do like Scorpion Intense slight bit more because it is more on the cleaner side and maybe also because I know how many compliments this gave me. Yeah, but Ombre de Maat, nine and a half. I think Ombre de Maat is the best one of the whole Louis Vuitton fragrances that you can buy. Now, let's see which ones are great. So Ombre de Maat, I would give this one nine and a half. Ombre de Maat is the best from the Louis Vuitton line. And I would say that, yes, it is worth the money. But personally, I would go for this one. To buy okay so the only ones that are curly approved so i got five first one would be ombre de maat then imagination limen site sur la route and orage so those are the five that i would say check those out test them on your skin if they last a long time then maybe they are worth the price but all the others aren't worth the price in my opinion but uh yeah that was it But to be honest, Louis Vuitton fragrances didn't impress me that much. That it was like, wow, no. <laughs> so you have to decide if you want to buy these fragrances. They have a high price tag. But check them out yourself. Check those five out that I've said. And let me know in the comments down below what fragrance you want me to review next. And I will try to get samples and I will do it. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.